was it on? Have I got these? Okay, let's see what the first one is. Let's go talk to the man. That guy kind of looks like Imperial Army type uniform. Station never fails to amaze me. Has it really been a month since I stepped off that train? Wow. Time really flies, isn't it? Now I believe this station's inspection officer was the one who submitted this request, right? This guy right up here. Let's get us mad at Looks like we're behind the schedule. Excuse me, but are you the inspection officer? We're here regarding your support request. Ah, so you're the special support section then? About time. My name's Quattro. I'm here on an assignment from the Imperial Army to work as the station's inspection officer. If you don't mind, I'd like to cut to the chase. We accept my request. Count on us, Quattro. Could you talk us through the specifics? Very well. Then again, something wrong? Not necessarily. Just wasn't expecting to have to rely on such young people for assistance. Though I suppose it's better than if no one had shown up at all. The hell? We offer up our help in this hour of need and the stuck up old geezer decides to talk down to us? Say something, Red? I advise you not to pay him any mind. Just to clarify, you submitted a request to ask for assistance in an inspection. That's correct. The train bound for Erebelli will be arriving any second now. I want your help in inspecting the interior of said train. And by inspection, you mean we'll be looking for any passengers or luggage considered too dangerous for air of any territory, correct? Precisely. I don't normally have to do this on my own, but I woke up to a torrent of sick leaves this morning. That's why I had to issue a request for outside help. Makes sense. Conducting an inspection like this alone would be, take way too long. Glad you understand. That makes things easier. The Aerobonia bound passenger train will soon be arriving on platform two. We'll ask that all passengers wishing to board the train make their way to the platform and fuck themselves! There it is now. Once we're on the platform, I'll delve into the specifics of the job. Now follow me. go into number two. This wasn't exactly what I had in mind when we got this request. I can't stand this dude's high and mighty attitude, but he's in a bind. Let's give him a hand. It's settled then. Should we head down to platform two? Here he is. Allow me to briefly explain the specifics of the task at hand. Please do, we're all ears. I'll be assigning each of you a car to inspect. You'll speak to every passenger, inspect their luggage, and verify the validity of their entry application. If by chance you come across any passengers without an entry application or who are in possession of dangerous goods, they're to be detained immediately. Okay, got it. I'm fine with the whole inspection thing, but what do we do if anyone's not in their seats during the check? I kind of get the feeling like a bunch of amateurs like us might not be able to cover everybody. Not to worry, we've got that covered. Passengers are not permitted to move about the cars for the duration of the inspection. It's a rule that was put in place because we'd occasionally get crafty sorts trying to dodge the inspection by shuffling around. You're certainly strict. Alright, I think I've got the idea now. Although I'm a little bit bothered that each person has to inspect their own car. And you know, we'll definitely be fine on our own, but what about Ellie and Tio? Really? This is the moment you decide to start worrying about us? Why I remind you that I'm a police officer as well, and hand skills are more than satisfactory. Likewise, even if we 
Even if a suspect were to resort to violence, I found it difficult to imagine they would be able to overpower the both of us. Ah, uh, come on, Lloyd. You should know by now that these guys aren't just some dainty damsels. You've got to get that through your thick skull already. Fair point. Sorry. That said, you are ready to commence the inspection? Um, yeah. Yes, understood. <laughs> Good. You're ready. Very well, without further ado, let's begin the inspection. I'll inspect the first car, so please divide the remaining cars amongst yourselves. In that case, I'll take the second car. Ellie, Tia, and Randy take the following three cars in their exact order. Roger, understood. See you later then. Now, I remind you that this task will require your full attention. Alright, I've got a train to inspect. There sure are a lot of travellers here, can't say I'm surprised. You need to make sure to be polite while questioning each person. Oh, an inspector, you say? How am I supposed to buy that? Proof, I demand to see proof. Uh, I don't. Oh, I do. Wait, this should work. Take a look at this. Well, the passages detective notebook. I'm from the Crossbow Police Department, special support section. We're assisting you with the inspections today. Police? Guess that checks out. They're doing this is kind of misleading. Well, whatever. Just get it over with. Thanks. your luggage and your carry ons look good and follow our regulations. Thank you for your cooperation. Let's <laughs> get the pleasantries, just hurry this inspection up. Kind of in a rush. Yeah, not too much longer. Pardon me, I'm an assistant inspector. Apologies for the inconvenience, but would you mind me checking your luggage and entry papers? Inspector? Not every day you see one such a casual get up. Anyway, what's the issue? You find it strange that a woman is travelling alone, is that it? What? No, that's not information I wanted nothing more than to go with my boyfriend but since he dumped me out of the blue I had no choice but to come alone but that won't stop me I'm gonna find myself a rich noble boyfriend somewhere in the empire I didn't mean to trigger the story well nothing I can do about it I'll just listen to her while I finish up the inspection let me translate for you Lloyd who asked you get it don't you wasn't that like so rude of him yeah a real jerk by the way, your luggage and papers are all good and follow our regulations. Thank you for your cooperation. You okay? No, it's fine. It's just... It's refreshing spilling my heart out to you. I can't remember the last time someone listened to our problems. Say, if you want to, why don't we run away to Erebonia to get... So, sorry, I have a job to do. It was nice meeting you. Excuse me, I'm an assistant inspector. Apologies for the inconvenience, but would you mind me checking your luggage and entry papers? Inspector, are you? Hmm, very well. Hey, why haven't we left yet? Waiting is boring. Sweet idiots, with this child have a little patience? Pardon my son. That's no big deal. Sorry, a little bit while longer. Can you be a good kid for just a bit longer while we finish up our job? I guess. With that settled, I should try to wrap this up quickly. Alright, your luggage and papers look good to go. Thank you for your cooperation. Good to hear. Mister, can you think you promised me you'll hurry and let the train leave? Hey, you can't just... Oh, what am I going to do with you? Pardon me, I'm an assistant inspector. Apologize for the inconvenience. Would you mind me checking your luggage and entry papers? Nice, of course, just one moment. Hey, hey, hey. Um, are you okay? No, it's It's just the deep green foliage of the Knox Forest is incredibly charming. Knowing that, I couldn't help but feel a bit giddy before the party. Ah, sounds like you have a nice hobby there. Oops, actually I wasted your time, didn't I? Inspection, was it? Yeah, oh yes, that's right. If you excuse me then. Alright, your luggage and papers are good to go. Thank you for your cooperation. No, no, thank you for your dedication. Anyway, looking forward to when we finally leave the station. Excuse me, one of the inspecting assistant inspectors. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, the inspection. I suppose it's fine. 
Well, no way. I have all my panties in my luggage, you know. Good point. Sorry, but you hear the lady. No, hold on. You can't just refuse. It doesn't work like that. It's regulation. So please work with me. I'll show the utmost consideration when it's fixing your delegates. So he says. Yeah, you better, mister. And this is harder than it looks. All your luggage and carry-ons look good and follow our regulations. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. <laughs> Must scram. <sighs> should be the last of the passengers. I didn't notice anything suspicious, so I should report with the others and have a regroup with the others, sorry, and report to Mr. Quattro. It's kind of nerve-wracking doing these inspections for the first time. I didn't overlook anyone, did I? Well, Mom, can I go explore the rest of the train cars? You can, I'll sit still until the inspection's end. It's your mother, son, you don't want to annoy the inspector. Well, but the guy sitting over there came from the car in front of ours, so why can't I go too? Front train car? Could that be the one Mr. Quattro is inspecting? I might just had some business with the conductor. No, wait a second. Maybe you changed cars after the inspections began. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing the beautiful scenery during the ride. Can't we leave already? Excuse me, sir, do you have a minute? Oh, what's wrong? I thought the inspection already ended. It had, but something's bothering me. With your permission, may I redo the inspection? Sure, I don't mind. Get to check something. Here's my luggage and engine papers. Oh no, I won't be the one conducting the inspection. I'm planning on asking the official inspector, Mr. Quattro, to do it. Good Quattro? Why? Aren't you more than capable of doing a citadel inspection? So you do know him? Uh, no, you see, Quattro laid down some ground rules before we began the inspections. What was that to me was you may not move to another car during inspections. Uh, of course I know that. Are you implying that I broke that rule? Yes, I am. I hate to break it to you, but I have a witness. That rowdy boy sitting right over there saw you entering the car from up front. What? That's preposterous. This has got to be some kind of mistake, right? I'm sure we can confirm the boy statement if you have the train conductor. The question still stands, why would you transfer cars? Um... If things went according to plan, you would have been inspected by Quattro. But in spite of the rules, you snuck away into this train car. The logical conclusion is that you didn't want Quattro to see you. Am I wrong? No. Ah. Please, I'm begging you. Overlook this. I just want to have a fun trip. Yeah, that's all it is. But look, you see my papers are good to go, didn't you? That's the case. Then it should be fine to Quattro double check some, right? What? No, 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 please. I don't know all the details, but as long as I'm breaking an assistant inspector, I can't ignore any suspicious behaviour. I need you to come with me. Fine. This man has falsified these immigration papers. Falsified? How so? Do you mean to say he lied about his personal history? Correct. He's a former swindler from Calvert. Guy likes to bounce around. I've had a run-in with him before, when he tried to conceal his criminal record on the same application. This makes it the second time I've fought him. Good grief, this man's a fool. Former swindler. He's not swindling anymore, then what is he up to now? Now that his pr prison sentence at Calvert is up, it looks like he's trying to lead an honest life. The frauds he committed were relatively small in scale, so apparently he wasn't give too given too heavy as of a sentence. It's unfortunate though, the criminal record will follow someone for the rest of their lives. It's probably why he felt the need to falsify his documents. The immigration papers show a criminal record, your ability to travel was heavily restricted. If only I hadn't gone and committed fraud. I'm sure he regrets his crimes, but he chose his life when he broke the law. Committing crimes will burden you for the rest of your life, and the world would be a better place if more people understood that. So what's going to happen to this man? I've detained him in my office for the time being. I give him a stern warning and then ship him back off to Calvert. Nothing out of the ordinary for me. Yeah, I guess there's no other choice. Anyway, we successfully completed our inspection without incident. We're a bit behind schedule, but we should be able to see this train off safely now. I believe I owe the special support section a proper thank you, don't I? I'll be sure to give you a ring next time I need help. It's our pleasure. Learned a lot helping out with this request. Feel free to give us a call if you ever need our help again. I think I'll take you up on that offer. Ooh, a lot harder than I was anticipating. You say that again. Although Tio is probably the most exhausted among us. Among us! 
Why do you say that? People thought she was kind of some kind of mascot for the train station and kept smothering her. A mascot? Are you right here? Don't tell me you're so traumatized that you can no longer speak. No, not quite. I'm simply experiencing some mental fatigue. Let's recover in a bit. Quickly, please. Yeah, sure. I hope you aren't straining yourself too hard here. Okay. One side quest done. Came after all, special support section. Morning, ma'am. You must be a Melda. Indeed, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see quite a few youngsters have come to help, eh? Let me get a good look at you. Melda began to analyze each member from head to toe. Wow, is it just me or is her face massive? Holy oh, shush. I will say she certainly has quite the presence. Not that that comes as a surprise, she's practically a cross balanced celebrity. Excuse us, Imelda. Your support request mentioned the monsters are running loose in your apartment complex, right? And ain't it right here in the city? That could turn ugly real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I certainly could. She does not seem very concerned, does she? <laughs> so he's got nerves to steal. So, kids, we take care of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Shall we do business then? Sure. Do you give us the details? Well, as I'm sure you know, I own quite a bit of land and property in the city. The apartment complex in question is called Mason and Melda, named after yours truly. It's in the downtown district, in a spot that's a bit tucked away. In the downtown district, huh? I'm sure it's a mess leaving a place like that unchecked. No wonder you ended up with a monster problem. Exactly right. Those pests never fail to crawl out of the woodwork the second your back's turned. If you don't tidy up the place, I doubt the property will last another week. All I ask is that you go in, track them down, and eviscerate them. Simple as that. Yes, ma'am. Sounds like another straightforward extermination for us. The situation could escalate if we leave them be. Let's make sure we're thorough. I suppose I should give you this too. Thank you, ma'am. Downtown district, then. Take out, can't fast travel from indoors. Seems to be the apartment Imelda was talking about. Certainly looks unmanaged. It's covered in dust too. Go into the premises. Yeah, hold on a sec, I'll unlock the door. Okay, clear to go in. Stay on guard, everyone. Maybe monsters roaming around. Alright, let's kick some ass and take some names. Just making sure there's no nope. Oh, excuse me. Alright, made it in. Don't know what lies ahead, so be careful. Man, get a load of all this dust piled up in there. Not to mention this place is fucking huge. Seems like just the kind of place you'd find monsters. Indeed, I sense they've been running a mock in here. Our request explicitly stated that our job is to exterminate, so I'll have to take out all of the monsters in here. Stay sharp, everyone. So I hide and seek. You hide something valuable in me and then go seek therapy for <laughs> Kleptomania. Oh. Love the chest in this game. 
成可能始めましょうやめちゃここだよっしゃ一気にボコるぞわよっしゃいい感じだぜよしよし Okay. Oh wow, I got him from over here. Gerald Rat. Let's get to attack these two. Oh. Ooh. 
Oh wait, wait. The chest joins your party. Its movement is zero, however. So we'll wait here. Oh, poor little chest. Hmm. See an issue here. The monster is literally stuck. Hopefully we can unstick it. Oh dear. Well, this is a fucking issue, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'll try leaving, I guess. Oh, thank God for that. I do both these things, right? Yeah. Long barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imelda appears to have left a voice report in the chest. Uh, F. What does Long Barrel do? Oh! Is it only usable by a certain person? Ah, cool! Um, yeah, why not? Clear them all out? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure we covered all the rooms. Just to be safe, let's do a quick loop around to make sure we didn't miss anything before we head out. What did that sound plan? So how do you think you're doing running around like you're in a damn place? Huh? Care to explain what a bunch of cops are doing so close to Ignis's turf? Oh, it's just you. Guess this apartment building is pretty close to your base, isn't it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's up with him? Uh -huh. Get out of you guys, you look like a bunch of dust bunnies. Oh, I suppose you're right. Couldn't help it. Been fighting monsters in the dust again. Monsters, huh? They like to make nests out of the abandoned buildings on here. Nothing new to me. Infestations like this are common? Yeah, I figured this wasn't the safest area to be living in. Hm. All that ruckus and you haven't even finished the job yet. Oh, wait, what are you talking about? Gone over all the rooms already. It just occurred to me. There's a strong chance that monsters are bred inside of here. Truth be told, that, that was something I sensed all along. Should be located quite deep inside of the apartment. Let's see, you figuring that out just now? Boy, a bunch of trash tear cops. Why don't you drag your asses back to the city and patrol something a little safer? Hey, where are you going? Hold on a minute, what do you think it. He heading for that nest you talked about? 
given what he's like. I presume you went to a living that wants us making a noise in this turret. Think it'd be fine with him? Hmm. Mob may be freakishly strong, but it's too dangerous to handle by himself. Hey, Ellie, Tio, sorry, can I leave you two to watch the entrance? Based on his history, I don't see him handling this with finesse. I end up with some startled monsters making a break for it. Now, just little stone card. You two be going in to get walled out? Yeah, we'll just go in to check on him. Probably the safest bet. Probably get a move on, Lloyd. Don't want to be late to the show. Right. Oh! Monsters have respawned. Excuse me. Why are you singing Pokemon? What's wrong with you? They're drunk. It wasn't great. Looks like this thing was blocking off the rooms deeper inside. Well, it's not in the way anymore, so let's get going. Why am I not seeing... Well, probably because I'm not playing Pokemon. Have you ever thought about that? Huh? Hmm? No, this is not Pokemon. Have you noticed that we're murdering them, not catching them? Pokemon Silver! Why Silver specifically? Discovered sound alerts. Smash my desk up point out on. I, I can only check my posture so many times. And I'm sat. Fairly well. You know, I used to contain a bottle of Grand Chardonnay. Wonder what became of it. Last I heard, it ended up in the world. Last I heard, who asked? Let's have a look at some shoes. So it's got no evasion, but your defense speed and movement goes up. Hmm. 
No way, you want me to give you you fifty quid? Could get a drink in a minute after this quest. Right, they're all murdered. Now we murder this guy. I don't really understand the gimmick with these mosquito enemies. They seem really weak. Came from the roof of her head. Damn it. Ooh. Sounds like he's having a hell of a time in there, doesn't it? This is exactly what I wanted him to rush in there alone. Come me, Randy. You got it. No. We go to this chest first. Leveled up as well. We check the chest and find this text box. 
It is a very good text box, I assure you. Very well written. Thank you. Probably one for Randy. Eighty nine. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you. Mole, don't push yourself. It'd help you, man. So we'll have to save Wald's ass. What I want them to do is group all together and then I'll just fucking S craft them. But in that case, maybe I can just buff the shit out of Randy. Never mind, just murder them all. Team range for a yes. Go. Now he's hitting hard.
get Lloyd to be in him, so. It's a double turn on high strength. Let's fuck this bug up. Those things are actually pretty tough. Yeah, it really shows how much to be rely on to earn early support, isn't it? More important, are you okay, Walt? Hmm. What the hell? Did I ask you dumbasses to interrupt my fight? You think I'm some kind of weakling, huh? Do you really want to pick a fight with us here? Well, it's not like I was expecting a lot of gratitude coming from this jackass, anyway. You two okay? Heard a horribly loud noise from inside. Yeah, we're good. Didn't manage to bail a certain goon out of a tight spot, though. Excuse me, Red? You asking to get your skull cracked open? One moment, please. I no longer detect the presence of any monsters. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, it does seem a lot quieter, doesn't it? That is because we took out the head honcho of this place. <laughs> how pathetic. So, this is how it all ends, huh? What do you mean, Walt? You punks managed to ruin my fun. I'm gonna head back to the base and have a date with a bottle of booze. Oh, and don't get it in your head that you can just run around the downtown district doing whatever you damn well please. This is our turf, so if you've done the job, then get the hell out of here. Well, that's kind of what we were intending to do, actually. Oh, he needs to find a better way to hide his embarrassment. Man, the guy's never gonna change, is he? Well, I guess there's nothing we do about it. Anyway, I think we managed to clear out all the monsters, so let's head back to Imelda and give her the good news. After you. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, she managed after all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You special support section kids proved much more capable than I thought. You're clumsy. You did what you had to be done. Bravo indeed. Thanks, I guess? Hold the phone. For that many monsters to have nested there, you must have been neglecting that place for years. Indeed, you may want to invest much more effort into management if you wish to keep your property safe. On the right side, you're free to start renting out rooms. If you ever began to move in, I doubt you'd have to call pest control again. I suppose you're right. I was just thinking about how much longer I should wait to open Mason and Melda's doors. How much longer? What do you mean? You see, dear, downtown rent is dirt cheap, so it's merely biding my time waiting for the land value to go up a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to real estate, something. I'm Imelda, one of the top land-owning titans in all of Crossville, after all. That run-down apartment complex is just the tip of the iceberg. I manage scores of properties in the city that I'll flip when the market's right. Do you mean to say you're one of those major real estate titans? Wait, is this place just your side business? Madame Melda is a famous name in Crossbell and High Society. I've heard she's incredibly wealthy. Damn, really? I could tell she wasn't your ordinary old bee. One of the downsides of managing all these properties is the monsters that crop up if you leave any of them unattended for too long. Hmm, you know what? Go ahead and hold on to the mace and the Melda key for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you could have time, be a dear and give it a good scrubbing. As cunning as always. We might get back to work. The longer we're here, the more I feel a headache coming on. Yes, I would love to.
Dun, dun, dun. Okay. There we go. Everyone has open slots now. So, let's check out everyone's ornaments. Get one of these for what's her name? Oops. Lloyd, uh, not Lloyd, sorry, Randy the powerhouse, and Lloyd the tanky man. So in that case, let's take the attack off of him. Take the evade off him, because we want him to be hit. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I guess I will give him an attack one then. Actually, can Randy have attack 1 or attack 2?
should get for Randy. Maybe a increase. Okay. hand in some more fishes. Wow, Lloyd, managed to catch yourself some real buttes. Good work, kid. Starting today, you are now a professional fisher. Damn straight I am. Hair. Remember the day I reached professional fisher as clear as pure stream. I always, I've always been a, I'd always been an avid fisherman. One day I was on a business trip in Lebron, and a fateful encounter with the foundation of the fisherman's guild. Needs to say this man was the legendary angler himself, Mr. Fisher. Anyway, cue some more fishing, and then it happened. I was granted the rank of professional fisher. Man, that takes sure it takes me back. <laughs> it's really something. I don't want to certain stories. It's gonna be a long one, I can feel it. But wait, why did you stop in the bro for work? Were you some kind of a trader? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I was very well on behalf of my father, himself a businessman. I actually wasn't half bad at business myself, but these days I've got my hands full being branch manager here. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Figured he did for his hobby, but this just confirms it. Oops, almost forgot. Still got to tell you about the requirements to advance to the next rank. Conditions, catching at least 12 unique kinds. How many do I have? Oops. Uh, fishing. I've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I do any cooking? No. Fine. I'm going to see if we can upgrade anything finally. If not, then we won't bother, but always nice to check. Oh, I was just about to say. Fuck me. I've shown nothing. This is bad. Who? Oh, wait, wait. How did I turn this on? Anyway, did the? How do I? How do I turn this off? How do I do this? Ah, huh? A Mishy plush. What are you talking about? Mishy's the official mascot of Michelin. I seem to remember Tio being an avid collector of his goods. You're correct. I've not purchased the new Mishy plush yet, unfortunately. Oh, you're a fan too. <laughs> Truth be told, my son is especially fond of him. And thus, he travelled here from far to collect the new plush for him. That's just one problem, though. By the time I went to the department store in Central Square, it was already sold out. Wow, they managed to sell out at the department store? Are they that popular? Indeed they are. A campaign to sell limited time merchandise began recently. A new item is offered each month and some are exceedingly popular. This month's item is the Mishy Plush. Its charm lies in its size as it fits in a palm of your hand. 
without skipping a beat, your top manages to pull all the info we need from our database of our brain. You know, now that you mention it, I remember seeing our feline friend being offered a surprise at the casino. I'm not really interested in plushes, so I don't pay it much attention at the time. Especially when all the other prizes they have are so eye catching you now. Really? Well, I'm not one to gamble, so going to the casino would be a little conflicting for me. Please, no. I hate to ask this of you, but would you be willing to go and win the plush for me? I'm sure to pay you for your efforts. Please help me. I don't know about you guys, but it feels off brand here at the casino for a support request. And technically, it technically isn't an official request. As long as we're doing it for a personal favour, we're not to have any issues. As long as you know who doesn't go overboard. Oh yeah, let's do this. Come on guys, we're off to the casino. Somebody's impatient. Please don't tell us you fabricated your claims as an excuse to visit the casino. Oh god. Not again. Welcome to Barker Casino. Oh, hi Randy, welcome back. Well, hello to you too, Cherry. Mind if I ask you a quick little question? You have a mission plushie you give out here as a prize, right? Yep, it's our cheapest prize. Since missions are so popular, they tend to disappear pretty quickly. Maybe I should restock them sometime today. Wow, though. Never. I never ever would have expected you to be interested, Randy. Aren't you the cutest thing? <laughs> you think so? Anyway, see? Told you guys I was in the egg chains. Because you're right, this time. Well, our client is in a dire situation. It is our duty to achieve the target. Yeah, you have a point. Is it just me or have Tia's eyes began sparkling ever since Mishu was first mentioned? Thank God I've got some tokens left over from all the shit I did a while ago. Dun, dun. Let's go back to the tavern then. Oh, um, oh, I'm, I need to, I can give this guy fish, but we want to give it to the cat. Can we? I'll, I'll check after we hand this in. No way, is that what I think it is? You actually managed to get the Mishy Bush? Can't believe you got one, because I have it. Please, pretty please. Yes, yeah, so well, you were fortunate enough, it wasn't too difficult to get. It's really it. Mishy Plush. See that, Kurt? Your dad went and got you, beloved Mishy. Wow, it's Mishy. It's really him, I can't believe it. Thank you, everyone. You made my voice happy as can be. I have to think about how I'm going to repay you. Let's see, oh, I've got it. It's not much, but I hope you'll accept it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> really, though, it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, doing a request for that caliber is a piece of cake. Would have been able to score enough cash to build an art gallery had I been given enough time. But a certain Missy put us up to that. <clears throat> well, should we turn to our duties? 
I just said, I expect Randy will expend an equal amount of energy the next time a similar opportunity arises. Just you try and stop me. Okay. Let's go hand in our requests. Septium vein. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, let me check. Okay, it's just this one. Fine. Now, if I remember Septium vein right. All types of stuff dropped by enemies. Okay. But it also gives Earth 3 and Water 2. So maybe. Oh yeah, here. Wind 3. Maybe we just put that on just for the wind stuff. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Can I... Can I, like, sleep in my bed to heal? Let me save just in case it fucks the uh, quest over. Still there. to go to the Mains Mountain Path. I don't know where that is. Maybe it's the West Crossbell Highway? Yeah, let me check. I go to the residential district and take the w oh up here. Oh, excuse me. How did we not see that before? Hmm, don't know. Wrong to you. Hear something again? Yes, I'll try and increase the sensitivity of it again. Wait. I could just barely hear it, but it was unmistakable. Yep, no question. That was a howl. Good thing Tio taught us sharp ears, or we never would have noticed. Phew. I was able to determine that that howl originated in the direction of the mountain path. Approximately 40 celled north northwest. Hmm, it's about halfway through the path, isn't it? Oh man, here we go again. Um, Ellie, Tio? Sorry, I know you suffered more than enough yesterday. It's okay, Lord, I understand. I'm beginning to think this is just our fate. I'll survive. Also, that howl struck me as being some kind of message. Message? How so? Thinking it was a threat, maybe? No, it's not threatening, rather seemed filled with purpose. Sorry, I'm having difficulty finding an appropriate way to describe it. Well, that's okay. Anyway, there's a good chance it'll try to escape if the CGF steps in. See if we can track it down on our own. Yes, Tears analysis has given us a solid lead. 
traveling on rough terrain, so we should prepare before we leave. Definitely. Also, we should finish up any support requests. Once we're sure we're ready, we can begin searching the mountain path. Alrighty, let's wrap things up and have ourselves a nice fun hike, eh? Fun! Oh. Okay, when I see a waterfall. So hell? Well, look at Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Look at our new arts we got as well. Heat wave. Okay, stick with attacking them. What about Ellie? Holy shit. Gorgon Breath, Quake, Blue Drop, Aerial, Chaos Brand, Holy Breath, shit, nice. Cobalt Sphere. Well, that's pretty cool. Selfie. Okay, really cool. I like them. Some ones I haven't spotted before as well from like Sky and stuff. Uh, Solver, Chaos Brand, same as her. Fortuna. Cool. Okay. I forgot, there might be some. Oh, I'm glad that. There might be some equipment that the guys weren't wearing, that maybe some of these guys can wear. Sure. Humming Gator. Oh, I just looked at it. Yeah, that does seem about right, actually. Should never open another chest again. I'll give you this one. No. Excuse <sighs> me. Well, Tia is up next, so she can analyze. Save us using a battle scope. And then we've got the uh, group attack coming up, so save our arts, I guess. Wow, fucking nine turns of poison. Jesus, boy. Chill out, man. Oh, 
Hmm, not weak to a whole lot. So they should be weak to physical then. No. Or maybe Ellie just doesn't do very much damage. Or are these just a pain in the ass monster? Foaming at the mouth, these guys. Oh no, that's stacked down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. It's probably fine, but I don't have to waste like fucking items healing because. Everyone's been murdered by Lloyd or something. Okay, so what it seems like Foam actually does is just inflict random state ailments. Ooh, are there any fish here? No new fish, okay. Understood. So let's keep moving.
Right. Bear with me. I'm gonna go grab a coffee or something, so I'll be back in two minutes. Woo.
coffee, bitch. Why am I recording? Anywho. No need to heal Ali, I guess, since she's going to level up soon. Ooh. Find a notebook with a gauntlet on it. You decide to leave it in the leave it in case the owner comes back. Oh that thing is definitely new. Hmm, didn't get the uh, combo, but hello. Sus that there's only one of them and it's only on its own. Triggers earthquakes when attacked. Like passively? No. Okay. Riding rocks. What is that? Wow, 
This is amazing. What a fantastic view. Crossbar truly is a beautiful place. Seeing this almost makes all my fatigue from walking here fade away. Who knew all this nature was just a stone's throw away from the big booming metropolis? Crossbar's kind of a weird place when you think about it, huh? Uh, not that I don't like it, it's just surprising at all. No, that's fine. I get what you're saying. But what you're trying to say, Randy. I mean, I lived in Calvary for over two years, and compared to their crossbow, is lacking balance, I suppose. The city is extremely modern, while the surrounding countryside is very traditional. Agreed. I also travelled to numerous countries while I was studying abroad. No matter how advanced the country was, they still placed importance on tradition and appreciating the beauty of nature. While that may all be true, it does not make me dislike Crossbell, not in the slightest. I find both its good and bad parts to be captivating. Tio, thank you. Well, there's definitely something special about it, that's sure. Think about it, we had nothing to do with each other, yet this place managed to bring the four of us together. Indeed. Right, so with Crossbell is the way it is that the SSS exists in the first place. When you put it like that, there are a lot of things to appreciate about Crossbell, huh? There it is again. It's much more distinct this time. Any idea which way it came from? Just give me a moment. Ten cells to the northwest. Cross analyzing it with the map, it should be located at the mountain paths fork. Got it, said it all over then. We're shiny. Turn around. That's it. Fuck. this way first. Turn around. Oh fuck. Oops. What are they weak to again? Oh yeah, fucking nothing. I think this is a job for Randy then. Luminous glasses. <laughs> I'm giving you that for free because I know before long you'll come crawl about for more. Blind. Yeah. Have you ID'd one of these already? Oops. Yes.
Okay, so as long as we keep it fairly central, we should be okay. Fuck it. Lived. So for this. guide have to say about this chest. Okay, so don't open it. Apparently they're level 35. <laughs> Sesto, baby. How you doing, man? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Hope you are too. Circle. Yeah. It's all man. Excuse for the tribunal. Let's hear it, man. Fire away. How you've thought hard about this. All for an inside joke. <laughs> it's dedication right there.
this is the fork in the road you were talking about, Tia. Can't say I spot any signs of a wolf around here. It's possible it may have moved elsewhere again. I know the path to the left will take us to the mains, but I'm not so sure about the right. I'm not seeing any information regarding that path in the, data in the database either. Might prove beneficial to investigate just in case. Yeah, might as well. Just check it out before we move on to mains. Oh, we've got all types of slime. Have I did them all? Ocean, Earth, Magma, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, they all get hurt by wind. Let's do that. This one takes no damage from water. Okay, so it's only wind, really. No one else has a thing, so you're weak to water. You're weak to fire. And Randy can just, I don't know. He's going to move before he attacks, because I don't want it to misalign everything. Damn, even for the ones that weren't even that weak to uh, win, it still did a ton of damage.
Sorry, was I ruining? Do, do you want me to go again? Do you want, do you want the, the chair back? Are you having a moment? in see if You know how it goes. What was my legacy? <laughs> right. Hi. You thought incest but what did it turn out to be something else? again oops wind all right he's got nothing so he's just gonna chill in the middle or something Perfect, and moved in range. Oh, it can move. Oh yeah, three of the fuckers. Easier. Um, what are they beat to? Fire. Yes. They still hope. Oh yeah, shit. Forgot they've got that. 
Hit two and evade two. Oh shit. Okay. Get all the big buffs out. Again? Fire. Shit. Um. Don't try it, I guess. Damn, okay, I did quite a bit. Alright, let's get Lloyd to heal them. I thought you had the good heels.
Nice. Okay, so I hit two and an evade two. So give you the evade two, I guess. Um you the hit two again I guess Going, I guess. Keep on keeping on. I could do with some group attacks to get some levels. Lloyd's movement becomes so shit. Well, there's only one of them. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's see what this craft bomb is. 
Oh. Okay, that's pretty good. Did you just get two turns in a row? To fire. Well, she can't do anything about that. I'm sure Lloyd and Rank can, though. Tear a bomb. So the chest you described the secret city of chest bell. Chest messaging rates may apply. Fuck! I hope not. I've fucking read all of them. Only one appears. Still not leveling, but yeah. Is this place? This building is quite a striking presence. Seems as though someone's living here too. Oh hey, there's a sign over here. Rosenberg Studio. Keep out. Rosenberg? Don't ring any bells, Eddie? Yes, it does. It's a very famous doll studio known for making valuable antiques. It's been told it's owned by an extremely talented doll maker. Dang, who knew a place like that would be all the way out here? I actually heard of that name before. If I'm not mistaken, his dolls are usually sold at auctions for extraordinarily high prices. That's right. I've seen a few of his pieces, and they truly are works of art. I knew he operated from around Crossbell, but I'd never have guessed it was from such a remote place. Talented doll maker, you said. If sign is any indication, he's not very open to strangers. Would he even be willing to speak to us in the first place? If you look for Grandpa York, he's not here. Girl, could she be living at the studio? <laughs> Good day, everyone. Who might you for be? Do you have some business here? Oh, uh, don't worry, no need to be suspicious of us. We're at the Crossbow Police Department. Are oh, you police officers? It's funny, I've never seen the police wander outside the city before. Are you patrolling this area then? Actually, no, I think Kamiya is part of a patrol. We're hoping to ask someone about the monsters in the area. Monsters? What kind of monsters did you want to ask about? We think they may be like wolf like monsters. Has your grandfather mentioned anything like that before? No, I'm afraid not. But I think I remember hearing some howling in the distance earlier. Is that what you were investigating? Yeah, that's it. You said your grandfather's voice. Does that mean the studio's empty? 
Yes, that's right. He did tell me he would return this evening, then. Okay. In any event, the monsters we're looking for are extremely dangerous. It's probably be best if you stayed inside until your grandfather gets back. Yes, I could do that, but... I think following you would be much more entertaining. What? You're playing tag with these wolves, aren't you? Or maybe it's more like hide and seek. Either way, it seems quite fun. I suppose that is one way of putting it. <laughs> You're one way of kids, you know that? Hold on, I'm still not sure what it is we're chasing down, so I really don't think taking you along is a good idea. Sorry, but again, would you mind staying inside? How boring. If only he was repaired, then they wouldn't be so bored. Oh well, perhaps I should leave it at that for today and go mess with Freckles a bit more. Maybe she could play in the glass castle instead. I said, who? Where's the glass castle? <laughs> oh, don't mind me. That's right, I haven't introduced myself yet. Please call me Ren. Someone else I'd love to introduce you to as well. But unfortunately, his right leg was broken recently and Grandpa Jorog is patching him up right now. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you talking about one of her dolls or something? These wolves you're after seem to be quite the smarty pants. I want to play with them for a bit. But I suppose I am a grown up now, so I should act like one. Good luck with the rest of your investigation, special support section. Uh, thanks. You be careful now, Ren. She was quite interesting. Is she actually the granddaughter of the famous Rosenberg dollmaker? Guess so. She was strangely mature for her age, don't you think? I thought she was simply adorable. She may have had a unique way of talking, but that's just part of her charm. Oh, is something wrong? I see you getting that look in your eye again. So we stand up to you? Well, that's not anything major. It's just right before she left, didn't she call us the special support section? Oh, now that you mention it, we did not introduce ourselves as such, did we? How the hell would some little girl out in the middle of nowhere who know who we are? Well, it's possible that she recognised us for the possible times. And if that's the case, there's a decent chance she'd know who we were. Still, I think there's more to her than meets the eye. I concur. Anyway, it doesn't look like wolves came this way. Let's head back for now and keep making our way toward mains. Yeah, let's. Uh, Ren. Let's go tell Stan and Joshua you're here. For the lols. This plan is so fucking weird, man. Going back towards mains. Hey. The 
ladies have leveled. So they should hopefully get full heals now. Yeah, they have. Not save. Because you never know. Oh, this is some tunnel. Looks like they went all out when they made it. Do I guess for this far into the mountain? Must have been used to mine the septum at some point. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it wasn't. If I remember my history, these tunnels were constructed just before Crossbow became an autonomous state. In that case, this tunnel dates back 70 years. I believe Crossbow was once famous for being rich in septium, correct? Correct. So rich that the Empire and the Republic would have wars over it. Septium yields are still bountiful to this day, making it one of Crossbow's most valuable resources. But given the advancements in mining technology and the discovery discovery of other septium veins elsewhere, it's not as notable as it once was. Huh, wasn't aware of that. Commerce really is the backbone of modern crossbow, isn't it? There it is again. I think it must be real close judging by the echo. Can you pinpoint its location to you? Of course. Success. Traced it. Traced the soundways to the exit of this tunnel. Good work. Let's go. Looks like we've got some more scanning to do. Killer cricket. Okay. I did everything. 
Now let's murder everything. Who's the worst at making this? Well, I anyone other than Tio, I guess. A, what was that? A cautionary fail? Oh, that looks really nice. Didn't notice me straight away. Is that a sign? Jeez. What else are they weak to? Water next. I don't know what's come that way, so... Probably get to mains and then end the stream there for today. FYI. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on, Andy. Smite it. Hell yeah. And you'll start the chance to find a big goose egg. Great. Any chances, by the way. Using fucking everyone's S craft. And then there's fucking instant death bullshit. Thank you very much. Everything from me. Everything. At least I still have my charming personality. I date the chest. Um, defense and movement. I suppose Lloyd doesn't need uh, evasion. I mean, it's men only, but. One? Yeah. Yeah, let's check him. What? Oh, shiny. Shit. Just don't fucking one shot anyone. How are you? Murder time. Eddie's reign is huge now, Jesus. I'm assuming at some point we can upgrade our slots because we seem to unlock all our slots really quickly and it's chapter one still for fuck's sake. Hey, there it is. Grr. That white fur is just like the legendary divine wolf. If I decide to come out and play, eh? No way you're getting away now. Come on, hurry, let's take him down. Wait a moment. I do not sense any hostility. Huh? I'll handle this. Oh, wait, Tio. Yeah, you mind? Calm down, I'll be fine. You finally meet. I feel as though you've been seeking us. Is there perhaps a message you wish to relay? Gurgur. It is just as I thought. 
to you. You can understand it? Not exactly, but I can basically infer its intentions. What is your message? Grr, woof. Grr. Oh, that means... Grr. Woof. <laughs> hey. Crap, it's escaping. She, she's like a fucking mountain goat. What do you say to you? Definitely seemed like he was trying to tell us something. Uh, not certain, but the new one seemed to be something along the lines of the final fragment lies ahead. The rest is in your hands. It's all I could gather. Final fragment? Yes, at least I think that was it. Sorry, I could not be clearer. It's up to you whether you believe it or not. No, no, I believe it. I was just thinking the final fragment lies ahead. In other words, we're near the last piece of the puzzle we need to in order to figure out these attacks. Wait a minute. Assuming Tio's interpretation is accurate, is it really okay for us to just believe what that wolf told us? Fair point. He and his pals are our main suspects for the attacks, yeah? If he's smart enough to communicate with us, then he's smart enough to lie to us. Could be trying to throw us for a loop. No, I disagree. There's a good chance that wolf isn't one of our culprits. Really? Are you serious? What makes you think that? Well, something stood out to me. Power and appearance. According to testimonies of Armorica and St. Ursula, there were no mentions of howling. Also, Lytton claims the wolf like monsters that ambushed him on the hospital roof had black coat of fur. Now that you mention it, I guess our wolf file doesn't match the profile. Right, that doesn't necessarily mean we can cross him off our list of suspects entirely. It's possible he's their leader and is commanding the black wolf to do their, his dirty work. Facts tend to have an alpha, so you may be right. Still, if he isn't responsible for the attacks, we may have to rethink things. There may be two different kinds of wolves, each acting on its own. Yeah, that's a safe assumption. Not only that, but he may very well have been a divine wolf, like one of the legends. And if that's true, then these black wolves, who we haven't seen hide nor hair of, are the ones causing the whole mess. The pieces are starting to fall into place. I also feel like that is a likely scenario. And as I previously mentioned, I sense no hostility from the wolf. Yeah, I agree. Final fragment lies ahead. By ahead, do you think he was referring to mains? Yeah, I can't see what else it would be. We're almost there, so let's just keep going as planned. Understood. You're forgetting that last part though. The rest is in your hands. Kind of pretentious if you ask me. Are you too good to lend us a fall? That may be true actually. I did get the impression he was being condescending. Well, I guess I'm used to that by now. Let's get back on track and put an end to this investigation. Right, I feel like we're on the cusp of making a breakthrough. Almost there. Oh, you monsters. Oh, well, I'm not, I'm not giving up a Team Rush chance. We'll get Tia to analyze one. Rozu. Justice there. It's kind of what I'm hearing anyway. Well, that looks to be a dead end. I mean, to be checked out anyway. Okay, the rose is running away from us. Yeah. 
Alright, the same things. Okay. Fine. Can we knock these guys back? Shit, we can. Oh. I hope it's still in range. It is. Things going pretty smoothly. Seems to be an old mine. Gates firmly shut. Okay, fine. Misses. It might kill Lloyd. Well, let's um, do some healing. Void's really going to use much uh, EP. Investigation into the theft of this chest comes up empty. Much like the chest itself, you can conveniently ignore the fact that you are the thief. <gasps> That's the breakthrough we were waiting for. Oh, that one ran into us rather than away from us. Interesting. Save just before we go in. Here we are. This is Mains, Crosswell's leading septium producer. It is rather an it is a rather an, it is in a rather inaccessible place, is it not? Yeah, I gotta agree. Reminds me of Armoreca Village. It's like night and day compared to the city. Yes. Seems they've modernized their mining technology at least then. Hmm? What's that black vehicle there? 
What if they used it to transport subterranean deposits? Do you think it looks a little too fancy to be hauling around rocks though? It appears to be a special transport vehicle designed by the Empire's Minecraft company. Their latest model, no less. If it's that cutting edge, it must have cost a fortune. Perhaps it's the town mayor's private car? It's a possibility. Either way, let's try visiting for it, him for anything else. Hopefully we shed some light on circumstances regarding the monster attacks here in Mainz. Alright, let's see. Okay, that's going to be it for me for today. Got some shit done, so if you're any good, um, yeah, be stream same as tomorrow, so stay tuned, more um, trails, and then we got some V-Rising with the guys on Friday if they're around, so yeah, thanks for hanging out and being here, I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow, take it easy.